all right, going to do another video exposing Stephen Anderson's new IFB cult. I've covered this uh, issue before, uh, the fact that his new IFB cult is infiltrating Baptist churches across North America, not just in the United States, but even here in Canada, too. There have been Baptist churches that have been infiltrated by Anders Anderson's little zombies, I guess you could call them. Uh, and what happens is that they basically think they have the right to go into a Baptist church, hand out Anderson's DVDs behind the pastor's back, or even if the pastor tells them, don't do that, they just keep doing it anyway. And what they try to do is they try to hand out Anderson's stuff and essentially de facto convert them to Anderson's heresies and send them over to Phoenix, Arizona to join Anderson's cult or, or join one of, one of his little branches, offshoots of his cult over in uh, Arizona. And, uh, you know, and, and you say, oh, you're just one guy saying this because I used to be part of the whole new IFB movement. I left back in uh, March of 2019. But this has been a problem for quite a while. And here's a, I've, I've shown him uh, before. His name is Bill Grady. Don't agree with him, you know, on everything you could say but uh there's some stuff i probably would agree, disagree with them on but he makes a good point and is pointing out the fact that this cult is going in and, and splitting churches infiltrating causing division and all this other stuff you know it's a problem and it's a continuing problem and it's the fruit of this new ifb cult so check it out easy catholic teaching that passed into the protestant churches has now gone into independent baptist churches it's basically a cult c-u-l-t cult and the main ringleader of this mess is out in Tempe, Arizona. I went to Howes Anderson College for three years, dropped out. His name is Stephen Anderson. He pastors a church called Faithful Word Baptist Church. King James only, soul winning, which they get to put a lot of doors with those uh, uh, two positions. And they have basically jump-started satellite churches all across the country. And these people are crazy. They try to split up churches. They preach against repentance. They preach against the pre-tribulation rapture. They preach uh, a Holocaust denial. And uh, they preach mostly this replacement theology principle. They hate the Jews. These are Baptist churches now. Now, how crazy are these people? I have a good friend of mine that pastors in North, in North Carolina in Asheville, Andrew Sluder. He has a, a Facebook broadcast every Thursday at 830, Backwoods Bible Broadcast. He and another preacher answer questions for two hours, try to educate the camp meeting crowd down a little bit about the Bible, doctrinally. And the man had a bunch of these nuts from, from one of these kind of churches in Knoxville, Tennessee. They came across the mountains two hours, jumped him and one of his bus workers while they were doing bus visitation with a camera and a microphone and uh, start trying to tie him up with gotcha questions. And he ate their lunch, basically. And then they're stupid enough to put it on uh, their own website. But, you know, uh, visiting his bus riders, telling them not to visit his church, all this nutty stuff. Uh, the other day, I, some of you may know Sam Gift, the evangelist. Fifteen of them showed up at his church in Ohio the other day, knocking on the door with cameras. These are This is supposedly an independent Baptist work, jumping all these preachers and trying to disrupt, disrupt their churches. Uh, Gail, Gail Ripplinger, been sick for many, many years. Her son-in-law and daughter live nearby the mom there in Virginia. A whole bunch of them showed up ringing their doorbell the other day in Virginia. They come to my house, it's going to be trouble. Our son's a deputy sheriff there in the county. He'll come swinging by in an unmarked car in about two seconds. That's the mess we're dealing with, okay? So what's the first thing? Uh, now, the Apostle Paul never got any of Stephen Anderson's material, apparently, because he has a different position. Look at chapter 11, verse 1. I say then, hath God cast away his people? See, there's a simple enough question. Look at the answer. You don't even have to go to the Hebrew or the Greek, I mean. God forbid. And this also ties back into the fact of what I was saying in some of the other videos I've made about Anderson, about the absence of internet pastors in the Bible. You see, you have to have a pastor in 1 Timothy chapter 3, verse 1 to 7, or Acts chapter 13, verse 1 to 3, who meets qualifications. Okay, and the problem with Anderson's cult is that it was built by the internet. And Essentially what goes on is that they rely on the internet and they will harass their opponents over the internet and sometimes physically too uh, when they go door knocking. And again, I used to be whole, part of this whole new IFB movement. So, you know, I've seen the kind of stuff they do and I've seen how they treat their factors as well, people who would break away from their little cult. You know, because really they claim to be independent, but really they're just, you know, branches of Anderson's movement because they wouldn't dare have a speaker in that Anderson disapproves of or that Anderson doesn't like. You know, that's how you know it's not independent in any sense of the word. But they're going in and trying to convert 
churches over to the Anderson's movement, or over to Anderson's heresies, and essentially steal them behind the pastor's back and send them over to Phoenix, or send them over to uh, Anderson's various offshoots of his little cult over in Phoenix. So it, it needs to be exposed. Again, you know, you have to know your pastor personally, not some guy on the internet, who you see him on camera, and oftentimes he'll be a totally different person off camera or when he thinks he's off camera, as I've shown in other videos. Because there have been times where Anderson has shown his true colors when he thinks he's not on camera, but there's someone recording him secretly. So anyway, I wanted to point that out. Don't be deceived by Anderson's new IFB cult. It is not Baptist in any sense of the word, because they support a theocracy, which is totally alien to uh, traditional Baptist doctrine. And also they're not independent in any sense of the word, because they're just, because again, they would not dare have a speaker in that Anderson does not approve of. So anyway, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.